Welcome to my channel Mixed Media and More. I'm Beo and I'm glad you found me. Today I share with you a little mixed media painting I made recently. I started with a mechanical pencil on some mixed media paper from De La Roni in the size A5. As a reference I have used my little princess from my sketchbook which you can see on the top right side. You probably know all there are days and then there are the other days. I was really struggling with her lips. I wanted her to have some cute little lips. So I had to erase and redraw quite a bit. I did speed up the video three times and did edit out the boring parts. And as usual I have the supply list down below the video. And in case you are new here, why not consider to hit the subscribe button? I really appreciate it. Now that I'm done with the pencil sketch, I can go over with the fine tip permanent marker in black. Before I erase the pencil lines, I make sure that everything is dry. To color my princess, I use the aquas from Crafters Companion. They are heavily pigmented and I only want a light wash. So I apply a tiny bit on my palette paper and pick it up with a water brush. Here you can see me fixing a little boo boo. I simply dab some water with a clean water brush to pick up then the paint with a paper towel.
This aquas have a nice tiny nip, perfect for those little details like the lips and the eyes. For some extra shading I like to use colored pencils. I used mostly Prismacolors and some ink tents here. To blend them a little bit more I have also used some paper stumps. For the highlight in her eyes I use a white sharpie marker. Here I'm going over again the black lines. I usually have to go over several times just to redefine the shapes.
Here you can see me taking a picture. There are two reasons for that. The first one, you can see more clearly what it looks like. When you are working on a piece, you become too much attached to the details. Looking through a camera, or like we did in the old days, check it with a mirror, gives you a better idea what it is missing and where I have to adjust things. And in case you are wondering what the second reason may be, I am gonna use that image in one of the next videos, so stay tuned! But back to what I'm doing here. I decided the princess needs some glitter, so I added some Spectrum Noir Sparkle paints again onto my palette and then with the water brush to the painting. For the background I did use some tissue paper from my stash and glued it down with matte medium. Next I choose some butterfly and dragonfly stamps and added them to the background with stays on ink. For an all over all colored background, I have used again from Spectrum Noir the Aquas and the Sparkle Pen. yes, I go over again with the black marker. I told you I do it several times. Also did some doodling in black and then in white.
Of course, a princess needs a crown. I have used a spellbinder's die and some glitter cardstock from Crafter's Companion. You can easily change the color with some alcohol markers. And yes, off camera I did change the color of her crown and added some black. I hope you enjoy my little princess and would be glad to see you soon.